Good morning guys, we're getting ready to catch our flight, so I'm going to take you guys with us and I'm hopefully going to film as much as possible on this trip. Our taxi's on the way right now, so let me show you what our backpacks look like and kind of like what we're bringing. I'm so going to miss being home. I don't know, I kind of like being home. I like traveling, but I like my little home at the same time. Okay, so here's what our luggage looks like. That's Michael's backpack. That is a bunch of snacks that we got for the airplane. Over here is my stuff, so I've got my purse which I have um, my little jacket in there in case it gets cold on the plane, and then my backpack. So we moved all of our plants outside, any of our indoor ones, so those are for my room, because our friend's gonna come over and water our plants for us. So those are all out. I think everything's taken care of. You bring your sunglasses? Sunglasses, yeah, they're in my bag. Here's our taxi, just waiting for Michael. Okay, we're in line right now, waiting at the TSA check. Good thing we got here when we did, huh? I know, a long line. We just boarded our plane in Oahu. It's kind of cloudy and rainy over here today. Michael's eating pistachios. Costco. Yeah, really good. And we're just waiting to take off on our way to Sacramento. mom's house right now and we're just kind of planning out our day so I'm not sure what we're gonna do today but I will take you along with us whatever we do I know Michael has um, like a fitting that he has to do for the wedding so we'll go handle that too sometime this morning Michael's trying on the cowboy boots and the jeans for the wedding this is what the groomsmen are wearing or something like that maybe get different jeans I got it this there's no way I can wear these are they stretchy Oh, maybe, but I don't know how guys can wear these. This is ridiculous. I don't know how that trend started. <laughs> I, I had to turn on the camera because I was like, we're never going to see Michael in these pants again. No. <laughs> yeah, once these come off, that's it. Okay, yeah, I got to turn around. Oh, but yeah. Um... This is so weird. We're in California. We haven't been up here for a long time. I mean, we've been down to L.A., but the last time we were here was when we moved, right? Back to Maui? 2007? No, um, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I really swear don't. it was back in 2007. When Michael and I first got married, we were in Maui when we got married, and then we moved here because Michael was working in California, um, back to where he's from, up in the Sierra Nevada foothills, and we lived here for two years. And this is where I started my jewelry business, and I uh, started working at the farmer's markets and different things like that, so it's just crazy being back here. But this is where Michael's family is, so we'll get to see his grandpa and dad, his dad. My dad, my mom, my grandpa. But one mother. thing I will tell you about Michael's family is they really are the best. Oh? Like, you're so lucky. Oh, really? Yeah. God, that's funny, because last night we were just talking about how dysfunctional our family is. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Well, you know, everyone kind of has some sort of dysfunctional any, yeah. re relatives or something. I mean, uh... Is there anyone that has a perfect family? I don't think I don't so. think so. I don't think so. But yeah, the, like all of them, they just feel very lucky. Oh, that's nice to say. Thank you. I'm looking and forward to Costco. That's what I'm looking for. Michael wants to go to Costco and get Cutco cut knives. Cutco knives. So Michael's mom is letting us drive their Tahoe, which is really nice. What do you think? Would you have a Tahoe? Chevy Tahoe? I would. You have They're a truck. big and roomy. Yeah, it's always nice to have room for extra passengers once in a while. But yeah, I like it. It sits high. So when do we get to go up to the foothills? Maybe today. Are you gonna oh, eat God, it's an in and out. <laughs> Are you gonna go have french fries? Yeah, I eat french fries. <laughs> it's fun to come to a city. And you know, and do different things for a change, but I like going home to the country. We're going to the Galt Market. This is where it all started pretty much. The farmer's markets up in the foothills and down here were the very first markets that I ever did for selling, selling my jewelry. 
So look at it's a butterfly. Be really weird. Oh, what is it? Is it a? It looks it's like not a, a fritillary. No, it's like oh, a, a swallowtail. Huh? So we were 40 miles away from here. So I would drive 80 miles round trip was my commute. So I'd be down here. I had to be down here at dark first thing in the morning to wait in line to go to this lottery to try to get a space every morning. You didn't even know if you were going to get a space or not. Um, so I drive all that way just hoping I'd be able to get a space. Yep, I do oh, yeah. Tuesdays and Wednesdays every week. You used to do pretty good though. I mean, you know, back when people were buying stuff, I don't know if it's still as good as it used to be. So we're on the farmer's market aisle. But this is where I discovered the coconut lime bowls. Yeah. I used to buy them here. They're really good. I want to learn how to make them, but like a healthy version. Yeah, I want to find those again if we can. Can you get some? The white flesh peaches, sun crust. Barato. The booty mannequins. <laughs> you remember those? <laughs> Sounds like Thailand. Let me see. Cambodia, maybe. It's always been one of my favorite. I really Fresh like the manzanita. The butterflies would love it, huh? Oh, yes. Those cherries are a dollar a basket. My word. Definitely get those. Look at all those plums and nectarines, peaches, white flesh peaches. This is all so cheap. So we're on Liberty Road headed up to the foothills. And no need to ever go back to the Galt Market probably. That'll, uh, that'll satisfy you. <laughs> yeah, I think that I think I spent enough Tuesdays and Wednesdays at the Galt Market to last me a lifetime. So now we're going up to Iowa. Uh, Jackson. Yeah. Jackson. So that's Lake Comanche. It's pretty dry. Yeah, the lake usually comes up to here, I think. Up to that dam over there behind you at least. You can see on that little island there how high it usually gets too, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is pretty low. My favorite things about the oak tree is if you cut a fresh oak tree and oh the smell it's like this it's i don't know it's what they age uh whiskey in right oh uh, and it gets uh transfers that smell and flavor to oak the whiskey age. oh yeah oak it really smells good so tell me about this statue uh, my grandfather he's an artist and he did that statue so he does bronze work, right? But he does all kinds of art. He does oil paintings too. Yeah. That's a replica of the one that he's got in Fort Benning, Georgia. Okay. So he has a bronze statue that he did for an airborne memorial in Fort Benning. So your grandpa was in the airborne? Yeah. Infantry, is that what they call yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, but he does a lot of other types of sculptures than militaries. So. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. Okay. I just wanted to see it. Yes. I've read but, that about Facebook. Because people only yeah, put the and in positive Instagram stuff, right? too. Yeah, and then I think when you only see the positive stuff, like on Instagram or whatever, then all of a sudden you, you start feeling to bad about yourself. Right. Yeah, and on Instagram or Facebook, you're only seeing like the curated life Edited, that they filtered, want you to yes. see. Yes, exactly. You know, that's negative stuff happens. It does. It's part of life. But you try to focus on the positive. But don't think that it's always positive, you know? Like, don't think that any, no one's life is like always positive. No way, no. Way in the distance, that's the Sierra Nevadas. Not one piece of snow on it. Well, how do you feel about being up here compared to down in the valley? A lot, we it's a lot more relaxed up here. It's yeah. country life, yeah. This tree, you can see where it gets cut by the trucks driving under it, so he's got that like right angle to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that forever as long as I can remember. That water tower finally fell. That water tank used to be up on like a 20 feet tall tower. Okay, we just arrived at Michael's grandpa's house. It is. Let's go in and see him. Michael splitting wood in midsummer for his grandpa. <laughs> Something about the oak smelling nice. It's not nice if it's rotted out like that. We gotta find a piece that's not rotted Come like on, this I one. See none. <laughs> Be careful, there's termites in there. No, smell it. <laughs> termites don't like oak. It is oak. That's why the termites don't like eat it. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. This is a 
This is a real oak tree. This is a lichen. See? Touch it. You don't have trees on, on Maui, do no you? No trees on Maui. Huh? <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Oak is pretty rough. Termites wear their it's teeth out. It's too hard. Yeah, termites always take like the softer ones like uh, cottonwood or... But you know, uh, we're, oh, we were in Australia. I forget the name. It was the start of the outback. The town's called Chiligo. But there were like these uh, termite hills. Yeah. Millions and mil. I mean, we drove for hours, and I'm like, what do these termites eat? There's no trees. I mean, well, they've eaten all the trees. I think they did. I think they <laughs> ate all the trees and made termite mounds. So we might meet up with uh, your dad in a little Yeah, while. I was going to give him a call uh, from Sutter Creek. We're done eating here. Okay, we're going to Rayleigh's. This is where I used to shop all the time here. You think that's a legit uh, service dog? Okay, he could have got out for sure. I can't believe how cheap that is. Guys, try pepper. Okay, what else? Oh, do you want this? No. No. no and Start with the do guac 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 guacamole. Guacamole, yes. Yes, definitely guacamole. guacamole. Oh, sweet basil, that's my favorite kind. Look at that, how cute. And it comes in a pot, too. I love that. Michael's getting bananas. Yeah, those would be perfect. 79 cents. Not a dollar twenty-nine. Wow, 79 cents a pound. Did you get some chips yet? No, no chips yet. Just been looking in the produce section. Do you want plum cods or organic blueberries or anything? Plum cods. Look at the little sweet basil. You can get a little pot of oh, it wow, here. Right, yeah. oh, they should do that in Maui. That's a good you get idea. Green apple. So this is kind of our typical way that we eat when we're on the road, huh? Just stop at a supermarket, grab some things. First thing Michael went for was oh. these tortillas. He loves these tortillas. Wow. And then what do you have? Tofurky or something? Mm -hmm. First thing I'm going for are tortilla chips and pico de gallo and guacamole. That'll work. Good. I was like, well, I like your guacamole best. Uh -huh. This one would be good on uh, breakfast burritos. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're continuing on our way, still eating, having a banana. And what do you got over there? Oh, you got a whole little roll going on. Oh yeah, that's right. A little wrap. Turkey roll. Oh, turkey Synthetic wrap. Turkey. Yeah. But do they make vegan cream cheese? I've never seen it. Wait, uh -huh. have you seen that? They do. You've seen it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Have you tasted it? No. Uh, I want to try and make this. Mm hmm. You know, like the Costco thing, They're vegan. So we just went through Jackson and now we're going to be going down into Sutter Creek. Do yeah, you want to see the old town or do you want to take it? Up to you. Yeah, no see the old town. That used to be a pizza parlor. I don't know, that one. used to be a hotel. It's a cute little town. Yeah, can you believe that you used to drive uh, logging trucks through this till you put the bypass in? So all the time oh, you'd see weird. mirrors getting clipped off from cars. John used to work at Fox's. Oh, it's not called Fox's anymore. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Fox's Bed and Breakfast. That's where his first job was, my brother. Oh. Used to be a gas station here on the corner. We used to run back here from cross country because the high school is right up there. Sutter Creek. Okay, where are you going to? Uh, Plymouth. Okay, where are the Plymouth? Um, uh, let's see. What's that restaurant on the corner there? Oh, okay. I'm going straight down the Plymouth Diner thing. Where are We're still in Sutter Creek, so no, no rush. Okay, we'll take me a while to get there. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. My dad's girlfriend. Tried to cross this creek when it was flowing, and her car got swept away. Oh, really? And they found it like way down there. Yeah, I picked it up and carried a little. Super and she got out. Yeah, she got out. Time. Yeah, don't cross running water. Yeah, now it's all Nothing. bone dry. Dead dry.
slow him down. Okay, Michael's dad's here. We're just gonna meet with them and hang out for a little bit. Yeah, this so we're in this downtown here Plymouth. Used to be such a dive bar. I think I only set foot in it once to make a phone call. <laughs> now it's a five star restaurant. Yeah. Taste. I, I hear it's like a real popular restaurant. Well, it's funny. How things change, but you know, change for the better, that's not so bad. That used to be the post office right there. so many times but it's like you just kind of forget until you see it again I guess bring back the memories at the very top of this hill is where Michael grew up I was gonna take a quick peek here at the uh, river like seeing guys that dress like dirt bags come in all day and make them think they're gonna look like that what's that job like <laughs> <laughs> okay we finally made it to the men's warehouse yeah. Michael's gonna get his fitting done make sure the shirt fits the best fits you got to do it a couple days ahead of time because the wedding's on Saturday so you want to do it make sure that no changes need to be made it's like put perfume on a pig <laughs> Let's see. Okay. And the silky, silky brown. Silky satin. And uh, looks like it fits. Try it on. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll try it on. How dirty am I? I'm afraid I'll contaminate. You're a little, thing. yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'll try the whole thing on, buttoned up and everything. Just okay. Delicious. Is good with the <laughs> No, actually, uh, I, bu I bought a tuxedo, I think it was from the men's warehouse. It ended up being a good investment because I ended up wearing it several times and it beat out the cost of renting it every time. Oh, what, for weddings and Yeah, other weddings events and formal and... events, but I have, uh, I probably wouldn't make that purchase again. No. I just can't see myself going to formal events. I know, I'm pretty casual. I don't really drag you around anywhere. If there's red dirt, mm -hmm. there. Me too. Yeah. Would you be out of place at the Tucson show in a tuxedo? <laughs> That's the thing, another thing about you know, the islands. Is you don't get to wear, not like it's a bad thing, but you don't get to wear clothes like this. Looks good. Is this the one? So just we're just, uh, we pick this up tonight then? Or? Yep. Okay. You guys sell jeans too? Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. Well, well, you know what? I don't know what color they want to get. Skinny jeans aren't going to work. All right. You can change. You're good. I can check you out for right, that right you. now. So if you picture it without the shorts and the shoes, the guy's going to be wearing jeans. Jeans and, and cowboy boots. <laughs> Ooh, hot rubberized crack seal. Does that sound erotic? <laughs> Yeah. Thirsty too. This is Michael's preferred kind of fitting. Costco. He picks up a shirt, looks yeah. at it. Yeah, that looks about uh, right. Get it. It's large. Yeah. Okay, get it. Are you gonna get a sweatshirt because it's cold? No, I've got a sweatshirt. Well, this would be my sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> I was around. Around <laughs> okay, I've got cherries. Costco in Roseville, right? 
Yeah.